what's up everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i want to show you how to clean your diesel injection fuel system and this car is a 2005 mercedes e320 cdi with the bosch diesel fuel injection which i think is very similar to the cummins uh, diesel fuel injection so let me explain briefly how this system works and i'll show you how you can clean the injectors very effectively and safely at the time of the fuel filter replacement so basically in the fuel tank there's a, a fuel sending unit that sends the fuel to the filter at a normal pressure and then the, the fuel goes after the filter to the high fuel pressure sending unit or high, high fuel pressure mechanical pump which um, raises the pressure to 120 psi which is very high and then after that it's all metal fuel lines because the pressure is very high it goes to the fuel rail and the fuel rail sends it it's a common diesel fuel rail sends it to the injectors and these bosch injectors pulsate and spray the fuel into the combustion chamber and then the car runs now this is how it works now after the filter it goes to the high uh high pressure mechanical fuel pump so at the time of the filter replacement what we're going to do is basically fill the 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 new filter all the way to the top with a uh diesel injection system cleaner and now when you first start the car all this cleaner is going to go first into the common rail and into the injectors and into the cylinders and it's going to give your fuel system after the fuel filter a very very good clean now the rest of the can we're going to put into the tank it can work over time but for this it's going to help us kind of quickly clean this system up here and then we can start fresh with the new filter and then and then the rest of what's left in the tank uh, from that diesel cleaner so with that being said let me show you how we remove the fuel filter how we replace it and then how we fill it up with the new diesel injector cleaner and then how uh, it's gonna start and it's it maybe stumble a little bit but and then it runs very nicely before I continue I just want to say that the number one uh, cause of failure for diesel injection systems is contamination so you want to make sure your uh, work area is clean you make your do your best to prevent any contamination from entering the system so you don't have to cause costly repairs our diesel um, cleaner is going to be this liquid molly diesel purge this is very popular among diesel mechanics and that's what i'm going to fill the filter with and this uh, diesel super additive later on after a couple tanks I'm gonna put it into the tank so it can help lubricate and uh, and uh, more further clean the uh, the diesel injection system. And I really want to maintain the 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 fuel system uh, on this car because it runs great and and it, parts are very costly. Like each injector of those, it can be an upward of a thousand bucks. So I really don't want none of that to go bad. So I want to I want to keep it clean. I will do my best to do my regular filter changes and my fuel system cleaning so it runs healthy as long as possible okay now to clean to keep a clean environment i'm gonna grab a fill uh, a rag and just clean up around this area because i'm gonna be removing the hoses and then i have an air compressor but i don't have it hooked up i would blow some air in here um to kind of send whatever loose debris out okay i think we are good now to uh, carefully open up the system. Okay, so I remove one fuel clamp and then these Mercedes fuel clamps, you just go in them like that and you pop them off. So they, just like that. I plan on replacing those anyway, so. Okay, now I will remove the water sensor. Oh, there it is, nice. It has two O-rings. Okay, now pull the filter out. 
put it aside. Okay, now we drop the new filter in. Okay, now I'm going to replace these two O-rings on the water sensor and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I replaced the two O-rings on this water uh, sensor. I set it in a clean space. Now that's where the diesel purge comes handy. This is the trick of the whole thing. You gotta fill up your filter. If you look inside, you can see the filter media there. I don't know if you can. But anyway, you wanna keep filling it up let it let it uh, saturate the media and fill it up all the way up until it gets to the top with diesel purge now this serves two purposes the first purpose is that you don't start the car and try and prime it prime it forever and it has air in it and the second purpose of course the main thing is that it cleans up the rest of the fuel system after that so that's where this thing comes in handy and that's where you need it so let's let's do that okay now i'm just gonna pour all the way Wow, it's almost taking the entire can. That's gonna be good. I'm gonna really clean those fuel injectors. Okay. And as you can see, it's all the way to the top and really not much left in the can, maybe a quarter or so. And this, this is going into the tank. Now I grab my water sensor carefully. And I know it, it may spill a little bit because I'm, but that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe off all the excess. Okay, I'm gonna grab clean rag. Oh, there's my old ring, the old old rings. That's okay. And I'm gonna suck. That's why these uh, fuel filters have a lip here. So if you spill a little bit, it's actually not too bad. So I'm gonna keep this here. And continue pushing my okay that was perfect that was absolutely perfect then I have my fasteners here I'm gonna get them started they go into plastic so they ain't gotta be crazy tight now when you first prime the car you can open this up to let the air out but in this case you may not need to because because you are golden. Okay, this goes into plastic so it really doesn't have to be super tight. Just like really lightly. That's it because it goes into plastic and this this part is expensive. The water the sensor is about 150 bucks. So now we can push the rest the fuel filter the rest of the way down. And connect my fuel hoses however I'm planning to replace these with new clamps so I'll pull these off these put all new clamps on there okay so now you get the idea I'm gonna finish putting the clamps on and then connect everything and then we will watch the car starts without any priming let's we'll see how that goes hopefully it goes well filter in and we are done let's start the car okay we are all ready to go new fuel filter new 
uh, air filter with the injection cleaning uh, diesel purge full for the filter full of it right now and then I'm just gonna start the car and see how that goes so let's do it started right up every time you replace the filter you got to prime 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 but this way you don't only clean the injection system you it just fires right up no priming needed so and it looks great no leaks and with that we are all done and it is ready to go for another 25,000 miles uh, I just want to show you before I end this video that on the diesel purge can it says application preventative use so for preventative you don't have any issues fill the fuel filter up with diesel purge when doing filter replacing so this is safe it's tested by Liquimoly and we should be good to go with that being said I appreciate you watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one peace